Hi, I'm Marissa and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to be starting this in the new year. It is a long time coming. If you guys know me well, my name is Marissa. I run, run One Crafty Girl blog. It's all about making pretty much anything. I'm a self-proclaimed Jill of all trades. So today we are going to be doing the metallic pants trend, which I've seen on basically every fashion blogger when I pull up any sort of social media. It's run from anywhere from like 100 to 300 to 400 dollars, which is a big chunk of change for something, especially if you're not sure whether you're going to wear it for years to come. So it's one of the reasons I love upcycling, I love thrifting, is because you can jump on trends with something that you created that's one of a kind, which to me is the purpose of creating. I mean, this whole room, including this cat, are also thrifted or secondhand. <laughs> so this trend is really fun. It is perfect for New Year's and more importantly, it's really easy. So if you are just getting your toes wet in DIY, this one is for you. So let's get into it. So for this DIY, we're only gonna need two essential things. We're gonna need deco foil, and then we're gonna need the transfer gel. Today we're gonna to be using it on a linen blazer, and I have tried it on a jean, jeans before. With the deco foil itself does come in many other colors. I've used silver, I've seen pink, which I really think would look stunning on a pair of blue jeans. Okay, so now for the fun part. You're gonna take your transfer gel and apply it directly to your garment. I used a bristle brush. I found that the foam one was actually breaking down when I was wiping it across the garment. So while the glue is wet and not dry, I made that mistake as well, go ahead and apply your foil shiny side up. You're gonna to wanna to press it firmly. That way, all of the foil can really connect with the transfer gel. And that's how you're gonna get it to apply to the garment once you add heat. I added a piece of linen before ironing just to protect my iron, but parchment paper definitely works better. I ironed it for about 45 seconds, enough just to get it really nice and hot before peeling back. And that is literally all it takes in order to get this beautiful gold metallic texture onto any of your clothing items. In order to cover the entire garment with this beautiful metallic texture, I basically went back and used sheet by sheet of the deco foil and just repeated this process. There are rolls of the deco foil, which I'll link below, which are basically like giant rolls of wrapping paper, which in this case would work really, really well. When I first did this project, I read the directions and it basically said to make sure that the duo gel was dry before applying the foil. I actually found the exact opposite of that. When making a pair of silver jeans, I actually found that letting the duo gel dry made sure that the gel or the metallic texture didn't transfer at all and it was super frustrating. If you find that you're having trouble with this project, check your iron heat settings, make sure that you have enough gel applied, and last but not least, make sure that the duo gel is still wet. Obsessed with how it's turned out and even more pleased that it works on jackets and jeans, but I wanted to know if it worked on other materials as well. This is one of the extras I had from my jean project, and I want to use it on some other materials so that you guys can see what else it works on. And on a little bit of this leather, just so we can see if you guys can try this on shoes as well. Clearly we know it works on cottons, we know it works on linen blend, which that was a poly linen blend. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work the exact same because it doesn't seem like the deco foil transfer has anything in it that's not Mod Podge. Given this isn't fabric Mod Podge, so I'm gonna be interested to see how it goes. I can tell that this is like a little bit less thick. So we're gonna do shiny side. So you can see here's the matte side. So you want these shiny side up. If you have parchment paper, obviously that works better. Yeah, so that works perfect. Okay, so now that I cleaned up all the glue off the floor, I swear every DIY blogger also knows how to get a stain or substance out of anything else because I probably spilled or wrecked something in my house at some point. The verdict on the leather is, okay, so on the suede, it is peeling a little bit. So it looks like it might be better on smoother textures. This guy, um, super durable. This is about two or three days after I made it. That doesn't mean that you can't wash and wear it that night because I actually did that with this blazer. But I think for best wear uh, to keep for a long time, letting it cure for 24 to 48 hours is best. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to wash these guys. So I am gonna spot clean them in the sink and I'm gonna let, well, I'll have you follow me in there. It's not really a beautiful place, but whatever. And I will see whether or not you can actually wash these and it will turn out well. All right, welcome to my stunning bathroom. 
Um, thank you, Builder Grade 1980s. That's where we're at. So I'm just gonna use some regular detergent soap. Am my disgusting apologies? Actually, you know what, whatever. This is real life. It's dirty in here, it is what it is. I'm just gonna like go at this with some soap and see what happens. And this obviously hasn't cured yet. And this is leather, so you probably shouldn't wash it or put it in the dryer anyway, but just to prove a point. Coming off at all, and that's not cured yet. Okay, so let's spot clean this guy. I, I'm gonna choose probably the back here, just because I don't want it to be in an area that if it does get messed up, that I can't wear this blade anymore. Let's see what happens. I've been roughing it up for a few minutes, um, and I can tell that it has been coming off a little bit, but really not that much. I've been agitating it, so I'm feeling like in a normal washer situation, it really should be fine. And also, I don't have any of the gold on my hands, and none of it's in the sink. Oh, okay, all right, so after cleaning all of that up, I think the synopsis is that you should try this DIY, and I would love to see if you try this DIY. Until next time, I'm Marissa, and thanks for coming.